confidence. No, I think it's a confidence that we're we're building up. You know, I, look, they play really well against most teams. I mean, that's not a bad defense over there. So, um, I think it's just the confidence that I think the five of us have coming into this that we can we can get under pads, we can move guys, we can push guys around, and um, you know whether it was. The Browns over there, who wants someone else? And, you know, I, I think it doesn't matter. It seems to be the most. It seems to be the most amazing thing about it, though, is that as confident as you guys are, and as much as people are trying to load up against the run, I mean, you guys are doing this without without Andre Johnson. Yeah. You know, he's coming back. Well, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, <laughs> we don't need him because it's, you know, that's. You know, he's, a, he's the best player on the team. He's the, one of, I think, best player in the game. So when we get him back, it's uh, it's going to be awesome. But at the same time, I think. You know, we've had a stretch here where guys have learned how to step up. You know, obviously we've had to we had to be more run oriented to a point. We've had to uh, carry the load more on our shoulders, and that's a good thing. You know, when he comes back, you can't expect him to be 100 percent, or you're not necessarily 100 percent, but you can't expect him to be mid-season form. You know, you're out four or five weeks, so we got to continue to play like this, and I think he'll fit in seamlessly. Like he always does. That seems to be the biggest difference between this year's team and teams of the past, where you guys had the toughness and you had everything going for you, but this year you have that kind of depth, and so people have been, you know, stepping up. Every team goes through injuries. You guys are just handling it better uh, than almost everyone else. We've had a lot of tough injuries, and uh, you know, I, I think the guys have taken the, uh, the accountability model more than anything. You know, you guys, the backups stepping up, guys off the street. Look at Clinton Dems. You know, guys stepped in, got another chance at a job, and look at look what he's doing. You know, he's hitting the quarterback, he's making special teams plays. Um, you know, he's he's all over the field. You know, I think that guy wants to wants to be on the team. Check it, check again. So, you know, we got a lot of guys that are playing for each other, that are uh, are giving it up for the team, and it shows out there. On the confidence thing, there's a difference between saying if we do the things right, good things will happen, versus. Well, we're gonna make things happen because we believe in it. You, you kind of sound like that. Where you knew you guys were, were gonna dominate. Absolutely, it's you know we believe we believe in the system. We believe in what our coaches are giving us. I think Coach Benton does an unbelievable job of setting up the run every week for us. We never go into a game, or I, I never go into a game thinking like, man, we need to have this in, or we should have this in. Like everything that we do and all the coaching stuff he has coming. You know, we're motioning this guy this for this reason, and we're doing this because we're gonna get these angles. You know, it all makes sense, and I, I think it just makes you buy into it that much more and being around here for the last six years you know obviously there's a level of comfortability that we've all have and let's face it we've all been around here for a while now so you know if they're giving us multiple fronts they're, they're showing us multiple looks during the game it's easy to make uh, adjustments and it's easy to get get on guys and uh, make things work How is